morning guys welcome to today today is monday and today is gabby's very first lesson on her lease horse yesterday we went live with you guys it was so much fun and we're gonna try and do that a few more times because it was amazing amounts of fun somebody in the live comment below if you were this person suggested that we re-nickname Grayfin griffin Grayfin griffin oh my gosh it's stuck in my heart now gabby hates it because i love it but oh my gosh i can't stop calling griffin griffin he is a griffin anyway his name is finn uh even if we buy him at some point we would never change his name he is finn he is finn so Grayfin griffin whatever you want to call him i'll just sneak it in there by saying it really fast Griffin, Griffin, Griffin. <laughs> anyway, we are getting things done, getting ready for the day. We're dressed. Sam is doing an attest for his work. Gabby is doing, what are you doing? Taking school. a break. <laughs> I'm doing school. She's doing school. Sophie's upstairs doing math with her tutor. Everything is going well, you guys. Everything's going great. I am cleaning the house and getting laundry done, doing the dishes, figuring things out for today. That is how every day happens, you guys. Get up, go out there, and start doing stuff. And that is when all the mini miracles happen. Like, things just happen. And unless you get out there and start moving and start doing, then they won't happen. So get up, go out, and start living your life and living day by day. And things are going to happen. Look for every mini miracle that leads you in a new direction because that is what happens that's how God works. Look for the miracles, you guys. The little teeny tiny ones that build and build and build until suddenly you're living your dream life. This is why I can't take my penny to the barn because there's just so much snow. Hi, Penny Pickle. <laughs> she heard my voice. She's like, you're here. Hi, sweet, Nick. Hi, sweet girl. <laughs> I'll meet you, she says. You guys think she's going to be there when I get there? Oh, she didn't meet me. I thought this was Penny. I thought she would meet me. Oh, here she comes. Hi. Hi, Hi Gracie girl. Hi, Can you clean her eye? <laughs> oh, I love a horse that only loves me. It's actually quite cold in the barn. Hello, little Mr. Man. Oh, my yeah, he's like one of the few animals that we have. He's the only animal that we have that's a boy. Gracie, oh, I love you. we love you so much. Scratch him, he loves that. Hi. Yeah. His eyes look always funny in the camera. Like the one that's always off to the side looks like. He doesn't like when people pick him up or touch him. Oh, he likes when he's when... on the ground. Oh, well, hello, Pen. <laughs> oh. Okay, she says. He's more fair of you than you are of him. He, he likes horses. Penny likes babies. He likes peop, little people. Not every horse does, you know. Although her ears are saying a different story. Hey, Penny! <laughs> Be nice. Okay, I'll let you down. Willow has had a ton of babies, huh? All right, I'm coming out in just a minute, Miss Penny Pick. It hurts my heart to come into the barn and see it all messy. I swear, in the summer, I clean the barn, and in the winter, I clean the house. The house is looking good. The barn is looking like it's too cold to clean. <laughs> You're gonna groom her in there? Yeah, I'm gonna bring in this bucket and clean the arena. Sam does most of the work in the barn. I just saw Gabby. I just saw Gabby coming down and she saw me go out of the barn and she almost froze because and stopped because I swear my kids have this like new trick where they come down slow after we get here and do like all the stuff. Then all of a sudden they just show up and have less work to do. Hi, nice of you to join us. Uh, what do you plan to do today? Free lunging, Gracie and Willow. All right, can you close this door for me while I uh, bring this in? You need to move, I'm sorry. Sorry, 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 move, 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 <laughs> move. Basically what I was trying to say before is that Sam like does a lot of the stuff in the barn in the winter and I do almost all the stuff in the barn in the summer. The stuff that I do is come down and clean after he's like, done chores for a while. I come and clean up all the messes. Get the arena a little bit cleaned up. Sophie wants to jump her pony. 
Penny's like, no, there will be no having fun in this arena. <laughs> have this feeling, feeling, haven't felt for so long. Took a hold of me and won't let go. I've been sleeping, caught me off my guard. Cause you're in my space and now. Oh, hello. Go without me. Woo! <laughs> She's so spicy. She's like, look at that, I got goobered on. Watch <laughs> Gracie's gonna do it all by herself. Come on, Gracie, come on. Come on. <laughs> We're gonna do a little competition here. We're gonna see if each horse, each pony will follow their owner over the jump. So let's see. Around. All right. The heat is on, Gabby. Only once? Yeah, only once. Okay. Oh, that's adorable. I love her. Like. All right, let's see if Sophie can get it this time. I'm gonna do it with Penny too. You wanna do it with Penny? Uh oh, wait. Over. Woohoo! <laughs> it's because you stopped. All right, I'm gonna do it with Penny. Do you wanna lower it? Yeah, lower it. All right, I'm gonna try with Penny. I've never done anything like this with Penny before. She has followed me before. I've never done anything. I'm a little nervous, to be honest. Come on, Pen. Move out of the way. Oh, 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 Penny. 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 You're always in the way. You're so awkward. You're so awkward. Okay. <laughs> Penny's like. You can still do it, Gary. Penny is super curious. She's such a super curious horse. <laughs> I bet I bet I can make Penny do it. Oh, oh. hold on. Oh, so close. Did you touch me? Won't let you go to my head because I know I'm dealing with the all about like having fun okay so Sophie's trying to bribe her over the she's like I am not a jumping horse <laughs> yay Gray Finn is your horse um, to ride. Do you want to pick a different saddle pad to put on him, or you like the one Brandon has? Like that green one is gorgeous, Hunter Green. I use mine actually. Oh, which one do you use on him? My new gray one. Your new that you got for Christmas? For Christmas. Oh, is there any other color that? I would love to try them in pink, but I don't like the Mia straps. So no. Use one of my pink ones. I have a really cute pink one. So I have a light pink one. Gabby wants hot pink. We don't have a hot pink saddle pad. She doesn't, she like is that. against Lemieux. You're against Lemieux now? Just because just it's hard to use with the half pads. Oh, I see. That makes sense, actually. It's actually nice enough outside right now that 
I don't even have mitts on. It's supposed to be really nice. Tuesday and Wednesday. Tuesday is my day with Penny. I'm gonna ride her in the other saddle. I've been telling you guys for a week. For a week. I am going to ride Penny in a different saddle and see if it if it encourages her to move forward again. I feel like that since I started her with this new saddle, she's hardly ever moved forward again. And I felt like in my last ride with her, she was trying to tell me. I actually showed her the saddle and she snorted at it and like did a mad thing at the saddle before it was even on her. So I don't know. I feel like she's trying to tell me that she can't, she understands what I want from her and she can't. So I'm gonna try her in the other saddle and see how it goes. But look at how nice the driveway is. Yeah, look how nice my hair is. Sam, Sam has it all looking gorgeous. It came off, eh? So we are at riding lessons a little bit early today because we need to take care of Chino's foot. He still has the abscess, clearly. Um, we. We do know how to do a duct tape boot. Gabby doesn't find the sticks as well, but I always do it. I'm the one that does. I'm actually the one that usually does like the, the feet stuff. But anyway, whew, here, I'll hold them. Let me just put on another coat. So anyway, like I told you guys, Chino has an abscess and I think I figured out why. Like this is only the second abscess he's ever had with us. And I know he's only ever had one abscess in the past. He's not a big abscess horse, but I think I figured out why he got it and oh she's louise she's chewing on my hands but what's super interesting is that it totally coincides with what i think is wrong with chino or what happened to chino nothing is wrong with chino every vet that we've ever had and every farrier and every chiropractor and whatever they all concur that chino's like a normal horse but we just have these little tiny things that just keep popping up and i think i know why i figured it out and to be honest i knew from long ago and then i let all these other people it. yeah and then i let all these professional people talk me out of thinking what i was thinking and now i'm 90 percent sure 99 percent sure that i know what the problem is so we're going to fix them up see what we can do and over the course of the next couple of months i think tuna's gonna make a huge comeback and be like a better horse than she even ever had before because he's a really good horse you guys so we've been bringing warm water home uh to the barn with us nice hot water too oh, hot that's nice and warm nice and warm okay. yeah to soak his foot so it's a little more comfortable for him okay. and she likes to do it outside because then if you like drops the pail knocks it over whatever we're not flooding the barn because a flooded barn at this point would all right I'll hold them freeze so we don't want it to freeze all right chino I'll bambino for you. Care for you. That'll be good, eh? plop Move it forward a bit <laughs> There you, there go. you go. Good boy. The way that we knew he had um, abscesses, we noticed that he was resting his foot a lot, his back foot a lot, and I know that that's a sign of an abscess. And sure enough, we felt around there, and we could tell that he was a little bit sore. He's just a little tiny bit sore, but we wanted to be proactive and make sure that if it's an abscess, we can draw it down and out through the bottom of your foot, huh? No. Yeah. Uh oh. Don't don't spill it. Oh, was my fault? Sophie's fault for opening the door. It was Sophie's fault for opening the door. Don't blame me. After this, I suspect Chino's gonna be the most incredible horse. Like I think he's gonna be so a force to be reckoned with this this show season. I think Chino Bambino. I do. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna be champion this year. He might not be a champion this year because it's very competitive. It's so competitive. No, he's gonna be a champion. And it doesn't matter if he's a champion. All that matters is that he does his best and he's feeling good. That's all that I care about. He's like, ew, you're eating gum again, Laura? <laughs> so rude. <laughs> also, for the people who want to know, ew, I just had this by my ear and it stinks. <laughs> so, for the people who are interested, <laughs> <laughs> um, we put Epsom salts inside that water and then we have a medicated pad that we use on the bottom of his foot. It's unfortunate that it didn't last 24 hours. We're frozen. We're already frozen! <laughs> Look at my fidget. Look at her fidget. 
Okay, so yesterday, <laughs> yesterday I told all of our subscribers, if you like lemons, join the lemon club and comment lemons. <laughs> and you commented lemons. I did. So I brought you a surprise. <laughs> You commented three lemons, so I brought you three lemons. I Next time, it. comment more lemons. Next time, I'm gonna comment some money or something. <laughs> Good idea. Don't you know that you're beautiful?